Trying to see if I could share the screen. Yes. Don't really need to act. Okay. You the divine air. Uh, Margie. Good to see you. Uh, I was trying to get this um screen share up. It's an option to share the screen. Um, so that y'all can see this notice of exist or this notice of removal. This notice of removal is to remove your family members from the war camps. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Real extraction. Now, Marzi, you've been walking with me for nine straight months. It's about time we get some real extraction going on. Uh, let me see if this paperwork can show on this uh, camera, because if it can, I'm just going to go ahead and do it here. And I'll figure out how to screen share later. Let me see if this works out here. Screen share extension. What up, Tiger Eagle Phoenix? Tiger Eagle Phoenix called me up. He say, man, look, though I need help, I'm trying to help. How can we build? And we started politics. Man, it felt so good that we just built all oh, gifts. What can we offer to the empire? How can we generate resources? Where is this thing at? Go to some removal. I need to find that. Uh, I found this light and I was gonna do this eventually. Now, if it works, then this y'all have already on our website. Let me see if this thing is gonna work right. Can I see this up here right? Yep. Alright. I think this camera working halfway decent. Okay. Article 3, American Common Law. There's your appellation right there. Files with the government, a notice of removal. Bill of Attainer, Tainer, contract case. What's the case number? National, please tell me. Margie, I got 13 written affidavits coming your way sealed. Why? Because you've been walking with me for so long, you deserve it. Then from... The person doing business as whose person for the corporation style the persons is the judge on your paperwork for the corporation style as the what's that where is that going state of whatever state is acting like they is a real republic and the corporate state of where is your republic that they got your people in? Then you insert the DUNS number. The DUNS number is located on a PDF file that I put in my Facebook profile. You click on it and you find the DUNS number. If you have any other cases in the courts, you put all of those case numbers right there. Woo! Y'all can ask questions as we go. We're coming down. Info of life. The Morris American National. Free national name. Free national name. File this notice of removal. Woo, coming on down, coming on down. Bang, bang. Now, page two. Trying to do this with y'all so y'all can get y'all people out. Y'all saying to me, how we get them out? The seals help, but y'all can print it out from the website and put your thumbprints and stamps on it and go be counsel. Page number two. Where was we at? Number one. The organic, and then, let me just make sure. Unsanctioned pseudo court. Hold on. One, two. Am I doing this right? Yeah, there we go. Multiple grounds for removal. I, the free national name. Then you come down on the state. And the aforementioned corporate, this is whatever court or municipality it is after corporate. Pseudo court operated with the fraudulent capitalized name of that's on your birth certificate. Then you render it null and void in diversity of nationality. Your Morris Appalachian being a Morris American. I'm not reading the whole thing because y'all gonna have it to read. And we go into page three. This is page two or six. Trying to get you through it so you know what to fill in. 
Woo! Love y'all very much. I'm tired of everybody calling me on my phone from the war camps talking about we need distraction. Okay, well, this is what we're doing. Extraction. We're getting these people out. I got orders right now that say they should be out. But the bloodlines, they ain't out in orders. Aboriginal, indigenous, more, free national name is a non domestic. Then you come down. The corporate tribunal failed to disclose that the administrator's fictional plaintiff, who's that? Oh, whoever is accusing you, was deceptively appointed as trustee over, let me get this paper right, our capitalized dummy star man name and fictional construct of our capital name. Come on with it. Y'all have this. We sent it to y'all. It's on the website. It's everywhere that you can think of. If you have problems filling it out, call me. If you need us to fill it out for you in PDF so that you can print it out and you have it as a PDF copy, then we'll do that. Then we'll send you also the hard copy. You take the hard copy. You take the PDF copy. You sling it around, your republic. Then you take the hard copy and you walk up and you say, hey, Mr. Sheriff, here's a written affidavit for you about my blood. You want to come to the war camp and get them out? The plantation? Yeah. Coming on down to the end. This is page, I believe, uh, four. Whereas the, now that's the state that you're in, bar association, prosecution failed, blah, blah, blah. This can only mean that the dummy star man defended all cats name is being charged as an enemy of the state. Come on down. Alleged foreign private for corporate pro, uh, uh, fix, fiction plaintiff in air styled as the state of wherever you at. Then you see that record number 1616598-E in the office of the prosecutor's investigative unit of the International Criminal Court. Oh, really? Page five, almost done. Send it on up. Page six, I do by certified. This is my certification right here. Woo, Morris American National, Vice Judge. Now, I'm operating out of our Murrah estate, and I am a um, Article Three court in and of my own right with more than th 13 consuls on Amun Ra, Ra's uh, estate panel. And then that goes to the honorable, and it's already been mailed to them. They have certified copies of the original from that number. With that being said, you just got a crash course in extraction. Status correction for the nationals in the war camps after status correction. All of this documentation we're gonna send you, including both extraction number one and extraction number two. Number one puts them on notice. Number two lets them know that their case is being removed to our jurisdiction now. After which, if you have any more questions, print it out, thumbprint it, sign it. You counsel just as well as anybody else's counsel. What we do, when I say we, I'm Ura, we provide almost 700 witnesses. Our people, you can email us and we'll, scan, we'll witness, scan, send it to the next person. Witness, scan, send to the next council. Every rip. This is tactics. When these belligerent occupiers see you operating as a family, all these republics, all of these witnesses, all of these calls, all of these writs and these affidavits from different republics, one from Georgia, one from Virginia, one from Washington, one from Minnesota, all of these councils smashing on one particular individual. Oh boy, they be getting scared of that thing, boy. They can't even go to sleep. They be squirting in their sleep. Is they gonna come to my house? Is the consul gonna come to my house? Is the muftis gonna come to my place of business that shouldn't even exist? It should be dissolved. I know it's dissolved. I know I'm a faker. I know I'm a fraud. I better get out of here before they all come and get me. Woo! Yeah, because that's how they should be acting. All darkness comes to light. When we do it this way, our entire family sheds darkness, sheds light on the darkness. And they be tripping. And the darkness cannot comprehend or conquer the light. Five pillars up.
Love you. Call me when you get some time. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah.